The Colossians are typical heretics. Offering more, extra, more than, yeah? But delivering substantially less as the result of the things they tried to add to the gospel. I started off this morning with a lovely cup of green tea. Thank you very much, whoever it was. Was it you, Emily? Thanks. Yeah. If you'd added to that for me by putting some milk or some sugar in it, would that have helped? No. No. If you looked at it and said, that looks really marvellous, I'll put some more water in there, and filled it again and again and again, would that have helped? It would have diminished the whole experience, wouldn't it? It would have taken away rather than adding, because sometimes more is less. Or more is just a complete undoing of the whole job, to be honest. Does that make sense? What you've got here with what the Colossians are doing is they try to pour in more and actually it's muck up the whole deal. Because when you pour in more than turn from sin, trust in Jesus, then you actually undo the job. The job is actually simply going for that. We, we, we so often preach to people, don't we? You've got to turn from sin and trust Jesus. But we don't go on and say, and nothing else. Right? Is that fair? We're not deceit proofing them. We're not giving them the full story. Because the point about faith is that it's prepared to rely on Jesus and his cross and nothing else. Well, resurrection, but yeah, you know what I mean? That's what faith is. Faith doesn't seek to add to the complete and finished work of God in Christ. It's enough. My faith says enough. I'll trust to him. And the Colossians are typical of heretics by saying it's not quite enough, you need to add some more. We believe the sufficiency of Christ, right? And that's what faith is. It's enough. This whole fullness idea is a travesty because their little mystery religion experience that was claimed to top up their Christianity really couldn't hold a candle in the wind to it. And by sticking to their simple biblical faith in Christ's cross and resurrection, without adding to it, they would gain Christ, in whom are all the riches of deity, all the extra you could ever want. But if you're not prepared to just stick to that, you're not going to have any of it. Trying to add more defeated that faith because it was saying they didn't actually cr trust Christ's death and resurrection to be capable of doing it for them. So it's own faith to add more. Does that make sense? And that's how the heretics more turned out to be decisively less. And the appeal of this passage is to see Christ's death and resurrection as utterly sufficient for us. And repentance and faith symbolizing the ordinance of baptism as being the way to tap into their benefits. So I'm calling you today to this. To live day by day as if Jesus is actually enough. As if he's enough. Because that's what's called saving faith. next week we look at the whole vexed contemporary question of the principalities and powers and the victory over them that took place at the cross and the implications that has for the way people, maybe we, actually go about living our life.